Hello, people of the internet. I am back once again. Um, and this episode came out later this week. Um, you must be confused if you're a weekly fan. I doubt you are. I have like maybe five of those. Um, but I usually post on Thursdays. I'm gonna start posting on Sundays now. Um, and then I'm planning on because I'm planning on posting like blog posts and, and YouTube videos on Thursdays. So my, if you don't know who I am, I'm Kendrick Tran, also known as Kendrick Train, also known as a train on track. And today I'm here with a friend that I uh, I met like quite a long time ago. Her name is Venetia, and you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi everyone, this is Venetia McFarlane. That's me. I'm <laughs> Venetia McFarlane. <laughs> you don't want to give an, like a. Okay, I'm an actress. Um, uh -huh. been acting for a few years. Uh, I live in Toronto. I'm a Toronto-based actress. And yeah. It's okay. Me. <laughs> That's good. Honestly, I've actually never had anyone say Toronto. Like people know we're from T Toronto, but no one has actually said Toronto. Like, I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, people don't anyway. rep Toronto? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, tell me more. Do you rap Toronto like hard? Like, are you like Toronto like proud? Yeah, I'd say so. I love Toronto. But like, I love it here. Some but like, but like why? Okay, now you're getting deep. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I just love Toronto. I don't know. Like, I just like literally wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I love it wow. here. Wow. And have you you have you lived here all your life? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, well, I cannot relate. I'm trying to get, okay, for my Toronto listeners, if there's anyone that's listening that doesn't know me and reps Toronto, T. Um, I'm trying to get out of Toronto ASAP. Like, and like for most people that know me, they would know, especially for listeners, like I've said this multiple times throughout my podcast, but I'm trying to go to New York ASAP. I'm trying to go to London ASAP. I just literally want to be outside of Toronto wow yeah like okay here's a t right because toronto for me i just feel like it's a little too like in between in between pay what the, the fuck in hello <laughs> <laughs> in but in between oh my a, are you no that's a word that's a word in yeah. between in between. yeah in between sorry i was like is that a word an in between pace i feel like it's not mm -hmm. fast enough but it's also not slow and that's you know why I, mean? I like it. Oh no, I hate that. Because yeah, because New York is like fast paced, right? That's what I want, sis. At or least if you want to go years. I don't know. Well, I know I get what you mean though. Like it's more tailored to your lifestyle. So yeah, yeah like like if I was to live anywhere in Canada, like if I could pick somewhere to live in Canada, I would probably pick Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. I knew it. I would go to Vancouver too. I like Vancouver. I yeah, it's, there, yeah oh it's very it's very nice like I, I don't I don't know like career wise people move there for career but I don't really understand that um but yeah like I like the scenery it's very slow like it's very like go outdoors take a hike but it's mm -hmm. very work-life balance yeah. I feel like yeah and I feel like in Toronto it's very yeah. like okay, work cool. but then also I have a life you know you know what I, you know what I mean exactly I don't know so it's like, but of Vancouver's course. like very totally. balanced. No, and Toronto's it. like, I'm trying to hustle, but then like also I'm trying to chill. You know, it's like, it's like pick one. That's, um, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Toronto, London. Um, yeah, I just don't want to be in Canada. But I, I do, I am happy I'm a Canadian citizen though, which is hypocritical, but that's a T. Um, anyways. So how do we know each other, Venetia? Like, let me let, let me let me give a, them a little overview, and then I want to hear your perspective, what you have to say about our interaction. So, Venetia and I met at TIFF twenty eighteen. Yes. yes. Oh my God! Ew. Uh, <laughs> so this yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh my God. What? Yes. 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 I remember getting a tote bag from and then it said 2018 yeah okay so right. we volunteered we both right. volunteered at tiff 2018 
Um, and you know what's funny about that is like, so, like someone I knew put the, put put TIFF 2018 on their resume because I did it. And I'm like, did that work for them? I don't know. Let's just let's just leave it at that. You know, just putting it out there. Uh-oh. Not the energy. Not the flex, not the energy. Oh. For the listeners, if you don't know, uh, well, you well, it's not that you know, but like, cool. yeah. <laughs> oh. For the listeners, uh, we might be having some little cutout situation just because uh, we're having a little technical difficulties. Um, but if you're hearing this, I left it in. If you're not, then I cut it out. Um, but yeah. So we met at TIFF 2018, where we both volunteered. Um, I remember that's back when I was like still interested in working in like film. Like, well, okay. I don't think, yeah. Um, and that's when I was, I was like just getting into like communications. So I was like, that's perfect. And mainly mm. if I'm being honest, I kind of wanted to go just to be like, you know, like, first of all, it was like a big Toronto thing, like an international level thing. But then also it was like, oh, like maybe I'll meet some celebrities, you know, maybe I'll see some free movies kind of vibe. Like, I don't think exactly. I actually, I don't think I actually cared <laughs> about TIFF. <laughs> um, that's why I've never been back. <laughs> but, <laughs> and I, <oops. laughs> okay, so you, you share, you share um, your thoughts on TIFF, if, uh, how we met, some stories. I don't know, go ahead. All right, so, <clears throat> let me, let me be honest, all right? So when we met or whatever, um, also what people should know about me is that I'm very shy, okay? And um, so here comes um, Mr. Tran here, okay? And he was just like loud and he's like, Hi, Tanisha. Um, do you want to talk to me? And then he was just like kept trying to talk to me, and I was like, ah! <laughs> "Ah, talking to me!" Like I was so shy, but I ended up warming up to him, and we were really cool. And then that same day, we went and we got ice cream, and oh, yeah. that was that. Yeah, and oh, that was I- the day we met. Oh, I forgot. Wow, the same day, really? Yeah, like we met oh, wow. and then we bonded and you're like, um, there's an ice cream shop around the corner. Do you want to go get some ice cream? And I was like, period, let's go. So. Oh my God. We're wow. friends. Wow. Uh, why am I iconic? Okay, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your thoughts on tips? Uh, because I know you wanted to go back like, like at least uh, two years ago. I don't know if you want to go back again and again and again, but. Um, I mean, honestly, my experience was pretty much the same as yours. Like I was, I wanted to, well, I wanted to go because I was like pretty fresh in the acting world at that time. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go and I'm going to meet some celebrities and they're going to sign me and then I'm going to be famous. Like, that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Right. Um, and then, um, obviously that didn't happen. Um, and, um, yeah, I, I don't know. like every I went there in two years, right? So the first yeah. year is when I met you, and then the year after. Um, but would I go back? Uh, no, I don't really have a reason to at this point. Like I pretty much got everything I could get out of it. So. Oh really? You think so? Yeah, I'd say oh. so. I'd say so. Oh, yeah. maybe maybe you would go back as like to attend instead, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah but oh. volunteering no yeah that's true wow because i was gonna say i feel like tiff really ish could be a good scene for you to like meet and like network and we should do that we should go networking together because i feel like your shyness is not doing it sis. <laughs> probably no honestly probably because my shyness re- woo, really does um like it it, it doesn't help at all like yeah. me trying to get to know people so maybe it could be a vibe yeah if maybe it ever we'll opens some... it up again geez. oh tea maybe we'll get we'll get some drinks and then we'll be like a little lit you know a little lit just like sociable lit just like a little like sociable 
and then we'll just go around and be like oh my god like I saw your film like I could be like your stylist or like costume designer and then my friend over here could be an actor and I think you know what like I already have an outfit made for her I think we would be perfect for your film mm -hmm. I know you don't have the budget for either of these things so as long as you give us proper exposure we're fine don't worry don't worry yeah, yeah we should do that that's the plan right now I'm telling you I'm telling you um so yes if you, for the listeners again if you did not know Venetia she said it three times at, by now she's an actor oh, actress sorry my bad um so one thing I actually don't know about her is why you want to be an actress like let me know like because I you went to school for cooking right right I did yes. I went and to she, Humber for cooking yeah yes and then she worked a little bit in a like in a restaurant a couple restaurants and now she's like committed mm -hmm. to acting so like what, mm -hmm. like what, what's happened? What changed? Like why, you know? Well, um, when, when I went to Humber for culinary, I was really just going basically for like a backup plan type thing. And then when I graduated, I was like, all right, so let's do what I actually want to do. Um, and that's when I went out and I got um, an agent. And that's when I like I started with um, acting, like I don't know professionally, mm -hmm. but um, or seriously, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's that's when it really started, and that was um, 2018 or 2017. 27. Well, yeah, 2017. 2017. So yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Um, so. But wait. Okay. Here you go. Go, ahead. go. 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 No, I was going to say, like, to answer your question, you said, um, why did I want to be an actress? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, I just, I always loved playing pretend. And um, growing up, I have an older brother, but we're, like, complete opposites, but, like, really similar at the same time, but that's a whole different story. But, like, um, I don't know, I, oh, yeah, and I also had, like, an obsession with dolls, my mom would tell you stories and stories about how I'd like make my own storyline. And I'm like, no, bitch, get out of here. You can't be here right now. And I'd be like, um, let's go to the fucking store and let's go shopping. Let's go have a good time. And then my mom be like listening. Well, obviously I wouldn't be swearing, but like <laughs> um, my mom would be listening and she's like, what is this girl? Like she's in her own world, like literally. And that's it's kind of weird but like literally the same to this day anyone who knows me I'm obsessed with sims if you play sims shout out to you you're a real one um but sims is basically like a grown-up version of playing dolls and it's like yeah. making my own life my own storyline and stuff like that um and yeah I just I just love playing pretend and being someone else it's really fun oh, wow. for me oh wow oh yeah. okay i did not i you do seem like a i think i think i might even be in your bio no on instagram yeah or? it is it is oh yeah uh you said you, you honestly send me like sims vibe like does that make sense <laughs> that's a compliment i'm happy about that <laughs> yeah you like I you send me sims. like you send me a vibe of someone that would play sims like <laughs> Oh, uh, um, but wait, where was I going? What was the, what was I was gonna say before I let you talk? <laughs> um, oh yes. So right off the bat, you got an agent, like out of like. Oh you know. well, yeah. So actually, with this agent that I have now, my mom, my mommy was actually um, a model when she was around my age. Ooh. So she would like, she has pictures of her modeling days in our living room. And yeah, so I asked her, did you have an agent? Like what was the situation? Like, how did you get, how did you like take the pictures and stuff like that? So um, she told me about the agency and I called them. I found out they're still in business. And then um, I ended up meeting with them. 
bing bada boom i had an agent like it was really easy like it was a lot easier than people think like i literally just called them and i was like hi i'm looking for an agent they're like say less let's go (laughs) they're like period they're like okay literally so okay because i thought it was complicated in the sense that you have to like show them your talent and they have to be like oh like i don't i don't if you're worth it or not or like you know like and i thought you had to pay them too because right Mm -hmm. but you don't no that's a misconception i'd say because um you're not supposed to pay for your agent and i do know of agents that do require you to pay because i had a few friends that was in this agency and they paid like a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars a month for this agent and i'm like hmm like is that normal and then I looked it up, like I literally searched in Google, like, is that normal to pay for your agent? And mm-hmm. they're like, no, you're not supposed to, like, it's not, you shouldn't be paying. Like, um, when you get a gig, they'll take a percentage of your payment out of it. That's when they get paid, right? So, oh. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so, so if, okay, because I thought you had to pay in the sense, like, if they, like, like you know what I mean? Because if they're not being paid to find you work, so it's like, what is motivating them to find you work? You know. Well, if they find me work and I and get they it, get paid. Yeah. Then they get paid. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so is that why that you think they're so like flexible? Because they're like honestly, well, like, well, like, like you obviously have to be good enough, of course, but it's like. Yeah, yeah. I like we'll literally take anyone that's even like good, that's good enough because we're just trying we're gonna pitch everyone to everyone, you know, like just trying to get everyone mm-hmm. jobs. Yeah, it's something like that. But like, I did definitely have to give them like information about myself, like what are my um, past work, or do I have headshots? How serious I am? Like, they're not. They wouldn't just take anyone if that's mm-hmm. like I made it seem like it was like that, but it's not mm-hmm. really. Like, you still have to have like motivation. Like, you have to have a reason. Like, why do you want to be in this industry, and what do you bring to the table, stuff like that. So. Yeah, but oh. I know of other agencies, they're not, I wouldn't say they're as easy as the one that I'm in. Like you mm-hmm. would have to send them um, your past work, past videos or um, whatever work you've been in, like you'd have to sh- send it to them. Oh, and, yeah. Loki, do you want to name drop your agency or no? Mm-mm. No, uh, okay, no. well. Yeah. If I leave them, then I'll come back and say the name, but... (laughs) No tea, no shade. Don't even worry. It's just because, like, I've worked with some modeling agencies, right? So, and Mm -hmm. and some of them, some of them have, like, just talent agencies, right? Like, there's some of them do modeling specifically, some of them don't, some of them do... Yeah. So, that's why I was, like, because I know, like, I know, I don't know if I want to say their name because they're not paying me. Actually, who am I joking to? Like, Dulcito model? Dulcito uh, talent? They, like, they're like okay. they're pretty well known or at least from what i know the models and influencers that they represent are like quality so uh-huh. i don't know maybe if you want to check them out mm. i don't know i assume like, that, they're very... uh, are they more like photography type thing like modeling or acting i have no idea like i just know they have a modeling side but right. they are like an overall like talent agent. talent yeah uh, okay i see well, that's kind of what mine is, and that's why I feel like I'm not oh, doing that want, much like, work because you want, like, an they're acting doing a lot one. Of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow. Don't like. Would you be open to being a model though, too, or? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. It says ah. your bars are at one. I'm so. It confused. shows me your bars. Oh, I can see you now. Oh my gosh. Eh. Okay, I'm probably gonna leave this in just because it's so, fresh. it's so funny. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move there. It's a different wall. <laughs> that's a, that's the only different. Um, it's closer to the router, so hopefully. Um. Okay. Anyways, wait. Oh, I wonder if I move this light. <gasps> nope. That works. Okay. Anyways. Ooh. Anyways, so yeah, yeah, okay. So, so like, 
besides getting an agent, like, how did you get into it? Because I know we were talking about, like, for the people that don't know right now, she's, well, for the people that are watching on YouTube, you can clearly see it. But the listeners, she's in front of, like, a, like a backdrop and stuff like that. So it's, like, tell us, like, the little details of, like, how you got started, kind of, besides the agent and stuff like that. Hmm. So, um, my first, like, I would say equipment, film equipment was my tripod that my set or my iPad is on right now. That would have been my first purchase. And then, um, in terms of like getting started with, um, like, um, what is it, like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to play auditioning. Gosh auditioning equipment so I'd have to get the tripod and you need the lighting I got the lighting and this is my new um my new baby here I just got it a few weeks ago and yeah that those are some pretty cool things that I just got added to my uh situation oh I don't know if that answers your question no, but no that's yeah cool. that's yeah <laughs> okay yeah. um I, <laughs> what why are you you're so extra oh my god <laughs> honestly low-key everyone watching slash listening like this whole wi-fi situation has this low-key crazy jk um but i did want to talk about because for the listeners that can't see venetia i i obviously this like she's black so okay she's posing up so uh, wink wink um, where, what is your background actually? Uh, what? Jamaican. Oh, oh. Jamaican. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I knew this. Like, I don't, yeah. I definitely knew this, but okay. So I kind of wanted to talk about, like, obviously. Probably. Yeah, probably. But, like, obviously, as everyone knows in the world, like, Black Lives Matter and everything like that. Um, so I kind of, I'm kind of curious as to, like, cause I, again, we talked about this earlier as well, but being black in the film industry and especially becoming an actor, because I feel, obviously it's like a lot harder, obviously, well, as we know, like that's the whole point of white privilege, but anyways, so yeah, like I kind of, I kind of like, kind of, kind of share like your experiences being black and trying to become an actor actually have you had any gigs actually what do you mean by gigs like any like roles like if people wanted to look it up they could find you in it oh yeah i i had um some things on youtube you can search up um Ooh. the most recent one on youtube would be um the song it's it was a music video that i was in it's called me for me but mm -hmm. i Gary Beals, shout out to him, I love him. Um, yeah, so you can watch that music video and I was in it, yeah. Ooh. So would you consider that an acting job though or more like a modeling job? Yeah, I think that would be more considered modeling, I'd say. Mm. And did your, did your agent get that? No, that's, an, okay. that's another thing like, if you wanted to become an actress like those are things you have to do yourself you have to do a lot of the work yourself like a lot for sure you have to be like your own manager basically mm -hmm. yeah unless you be until you become big enough at least to be to have a man to have actually need a manager um yeah but yeah exactly. but yeah so tell us like some stories because i know we were talking yeah we were talking earlier about um what what we were talking about again which i feel like was it was it but obviously we're talking about hair but was it in relation mm -hmm. to a specific oh my high school musical yes, yeah go off exactly. go off let us know let us know yeah so yeah like i was uh, speaking to uh, kendrick here about um the movie high school musical i'm pretty sure like everyone knows high school musical but anyways the black actress there she was sharing her experience about being an, a black actress on set and she was just saying how if you look back and watch the movie 
movies, um, she would always wear a hair a headband to cover like this part of her hair. And then oh. you would just see like the rest of her hair, whether it be braids or um, straight hair or whatever. And this part would always be covered. And they and she was saying it's because they didn't have someone that was specialized in black hair. And she was like, they were doing her hair and then they were like, we don't have time. Like, what are we gonna do? And she's like, why don't you guys just put on a headband and just call it a day? And that's what it was for her. And then a bunch of other black actresses, I don't remember their names, but it was some other known, like two other ones. And they were like, oh yeah, I know. Like, it's the same thing for me. <sighs> We've been through it. Oh. And um, for me specifically, I had an experience where, well, first of all, I haven't yet been on a like top of the top people like hair and makeup and stuff like that it's only been the one which is the one I mentioned before me for me and they had a hair and makeup person like specifically for me and the other um stars so anyway they emailed me the day before and they're like hey can you, um ask you some things about makeup and about hair and when he said hair I like was like oh shit like I don't know how this is gonna happen like how is this guy gonna do my hair and he was he wasn't black you know so mm -hmm. I was like <sighs> I don't know I didn't know how to like respond to that so I basically didn't and I just really told him about the makeup portion and then when it came to the day he I had my hair up in a nice bun and um for all my black girls you know no, oh, when you put your hair in a snow, oh, let's take it out and see. No, it, that's the style for the day. So I had my hair in the bun and then he's like, all right, so let's see what's going on here. And he's like getting ready to take it out. And I'm like, hold on, we're, we're not doing that. Like that, this is the hairstyle, that's it. Mm. Um, and, but thankfully he was cool. He's like, oh, okay, cool. I'm like no problem, it's, it's nice. So it was a nice bun, so yeah, but for the most part, a lot of black actresses take care of their own hair. Mm. Not put it up, up and curl it, you know, it's not that like process. <sighs> so you have to do our own hair. Oh, wow. Okay, not gonna lie, you cut out a little bit in between some of those sentences, but I think we get the gist. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> okay. no, but I think I think we get the gist. I think yeah, it's kind of crazy to think about how, like, it's just crazy to think about that because even even in fashion and even in editorial as well, it's like the makeup, the lighting is always different, and not appropriate. So it's like very. To see it in yeah. actual acting like perspective is like something I've never heard before. And it's very interesting because for example, like the high school mm -hmm. musical shit, like people, no one probably even thought about that. Like, wow. But that's that's really cool though, that like you worked with that the I of the artist and like they were like, okay, and they're like, sure. I didn't hear you. Oh my gosh. Oh Hello. my god. Hello. I don't even know what's what happening. Did you like, say the last part. No, I was just talking about um, like for example, like in High School Musical, and like it's like, uh, like it's crazy to think of like that this is happening, blah blah blah. I forgot. I actually forgot what I said. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like crazy to think that like, like things like that just get overlooked, and it's like, wow, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, and that's like our reality. Like, yeah, I know. I have to do my own yeah thing. yeah oh yeah because it's like oh I mean I guess it's I guess it's nice because at least you get to do what you want kind of well not really but like at least you get to do it yourself but then that's also like why do you have to do that you know mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like exactly like literally um that's why it's a really so oh actually so for example I don't know if you're are you a fan of Beyonce 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same. Um, but so like, did you see Black Black is King? Oh yeah, love it. Love it. Okay, because I know some people were saying like they hated it, and it was like they were flaunting like being black and like making it like a spectacle kind of thing. Like, how do you feel about that? I didn't get that. It wasn't giving. It wasn't giving that to me, honestly. Yeah. Like I know. Well, I did hear actually some like people that are from Africa, and they were like oh why is she like doing that why is she in our clothes and stuff or like they felt offended and mind you they have every right to be offended because that's their culture and it's not like everything that was showed in that um film like I wouldn't say that it was my personal culture so I guess it wouldn't really be fair for me to be like oh no I'm cool with it like whatever but Mm -hmm. um I mean for me like since asking me from watching it I didn't feel a way about it I thought it was great I thought she was celebrating it I didn't feel like she was like oh look at me Mm -hmm. you know I'm out here like I didn't get that it wasn't giving that it was very Mm. much giving black people period love yourself like that's what's giving for me Mm -hmm. yeah wow wow Mm -hmm. good conversations here um but that being said, we I kind of we we were talking earlier, and we kind of did want to transition it into talking about Asian people as well in the industry as well. Um, and we wanted mm-hmm. to talk about Crazy Rich Asians. And for those of, for for people that are on Netflix, honestly, if I had to actually pay for a network, I probably wouldn't pay for Netflix. Like I would probably pay for HBO Max or something like you that. You wouldn't? No, I don't think I would pay for Netflix. Cause I don't pay for it, but like if I had to, like I don't think I would buy Netflix. Why though? <laughs> I just I don't know. Like <laughs> I I feel like because I feel like a lot of the iconic shows are not even on it. Well, like there's Friends, like sure, but like people are like very whatever about Friends. But that's the thing. Friends. Friends is not on Netflix anymore. Oh, it's exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay, is it not? I did not. I did not realize that. <laughs> a period. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Friends is not on there anymore. Um, January I know. 1st. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't even realize. Anyways, <laughs> but I know like Parks and Rec mm-hmm. was never on Canadian Netflix, for example. Um, a lot of their shows and the TV shows are becoming Netflix originals now. So it's like. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, like, great, like, love that, love that Netflix is expanding, becoming this whole, you know, really, you do that, you know, do that, like, pop the fuck off. And if you have, and I know, and I know, like, a couple of, like, people are, like, a lot of people are getting jobs at Netflix for that reason, right? Like, that's cool, like, they're creating jobs, stuff like that, employing, like, different directors and perspectives and sharing ideas. And I know, like, a lot of people can pitch ideas to Netflix, too, and they'll, like, produce it. So, uh-huh. like, so it's really cool. Like, that's really cool. Um, and if, for example, I know, um, I know even if you don't want Netflix to, pit, to produce it, you can actually pitch to have your thing on Netflix as well. Like, you don't have to actually be like a big budget production kind of vibe as long as it's good enough. Um, so that's mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. It's, I just feel like a lot of their content that they're sharing now is very like Netflix original, like watch it because we produced it. And even if it is, it's very like same kind of storyline, like, social media based cult like very like very predictable like very like you know um I don't know like but for, like, for example like euphoria I don't know how if you watch euphoria or... you. hello 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 yes hello hello oh yeah hello oh my <laughs> god this is honestly so depressing Loki <laughs> anyways anyways what i was saying <laughs> what i was saying is that like euphoria i don't know if you watch euphoria but that's on hbo right um yeah i would get i yeah. would get hbo or hulu like one of those two because i know they have a lot more shows they have like the i know i think i believe one or both of them at least have the the iconic shows and then Netflix, I feel like, gets rid of a lot of, like, a, 
Like, for example, it doesn't even have the full Harry Potter series on Netflix. They literally just have the last That's four. That's annoying. Episodes. Yeah. They literally only have the last four. Like, why? Like, why, why couldn't you get the first, the entire collection? Like, what? See, it's like little things. It's like things like that. Like, just piss me off. I don't know. So it's like, yeah, it's like, why? No, I, I get that. I get that. Plus, all the things that you do watch on Netflix, you can probably find illegally. Oh, hit T. But, like... <laughs> Yeah, like tea. It's true, though. It's true. Right? So it's like, except for the Netflix originals. And even some of those you can find illegally, too. So. Yeah. I had to put in some work to find Euphoria online. Because I don't have HBO. Exactly. Oh, my God. And the worst part is, like, I, they have, like, the new episodes out, and you can't even watch those because they're not even available illegally either. So it's, like, bruh. You know? Oh. Hello. My God, hot man. I know. Have you had this problem with any of your other video calls? Hello? Hello. <laughs> for the listeners, if you're not, for the listeners and not the watchers, we're literally making hand signals at each other to try and indicate if we're still on. Can you hear? Hello. Hello. Yeah, I hear you. Can you? You can oh. see me. Yes, I can see you. Okay, I yes. can see you. Oh my god, have you had this problem before? No, I've had many Zoom calls and this is like the first time it's betraying me. Oh my god, what the heck? Literally the one time we're actually recording the call. Any... <laughs> Anyways. I'm um... not Anyways, but yeah, it's like, why would I pay? A lot of, sh- a lot of networks are doing like, personalized show so it's like why would I pay for Netflix's when like Euphoria is on HBO like you know yeah like I was saying like before I cut out I had to put out I had to put in work to find HBO online because I didn't have yeah. I'm, Euphoria online because I didn't have HBO that's what so. I'm saying and that's how it should be honestly right like that's how you should want it to be but I don't know um but yeah so yeah. we were talking about we were talking about uh crazy rich Asians and Asian representation. Like I feel like that obviously, as everyone said, like I feel like that was like the movie that really changed everything, or at least like really like put Asians yeah. in like a spectacle and made it a big deal. Like for example, we were also talking about how um, Bling Empire is a new re- uh, rich people reality TV show um, on Netflix, and we were both watching mm-hmm. it or at least trying to watch it. And we're like super excited because it's the first like real show on American network that is like literally about rich people of color or at least, well, there's a lot of shows about, actually there's quite a few shows about mm-hmm. um, like like rich black people actually. There's like a one yeah. or two. There's like one or two on Netflix, but like still like- Oh, on Netflix. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, um, I forgot. I forgot what it is, but there's one about this rich family, like they're li- it's just a, like a large family, and they literally talks about how like their lifestyle and like what yeah whatever I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, this whole internet cutting out thing is messy. So- oh my god. Hello. Hello. Okay, I see you. Now. Yeah, what I see the- you. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. What is the problem? I don't know, but it shows me like every time it starts cutting out, it shows me your connection bars and it shows one bar. So I don't know if it's you or if it's me. Pero or like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh my God. So, oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, hot ass mess. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so we were talking about how we wanted to watch Bling Empire, but like it's on it and it's great that there's representation 
And this is like the first like real Asian show at least that like features like the lifestyle, like reality TV show for Asians, I feel. Um, mm -hmm. But we were talking about how like we, we can't really get into it because it's like too dramatic, like it's too extra. Like, oh my God. Oh, yeah, like, especially like, if you want, yeah, if you want to watch it, we want to, we don't want to give it away, so. Yeah, it's just a lot, um, but, and I liked, I, the reason I wanted to watch it in the first place is because, like, it's kind of, for me, it's kind of the idea of, like, I want that lifestyle, like, low-key, so I'm, like, like, manifesting it low-key, and that's, I think that, that's, how, um, that's part of why, like, Crazy Rich Asians was, like, I used to watch it, like, at least once a month when I was on Netflix. Ooh, I love that movie though. Yeah, like I, well, first of all, I like, I watch it because, um, because I want to travel more and I want to go to Shanghai, oh, Singapore, mm -hmm. sorry, my bad. Um, mm -hmm. So there's that too. But then also it's because I literally want to manifest that lifestyle. Like, like Rachel, like Rachel, chew me up, bitch. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I, I live for that movie. I love it. Yeah, I don't know, like, uh, but anyways, honestly, oh, I actually, talking about Asians in the industry, I actually considered becoming, like, trying to become an actor, too. Like, not that I'm serious about it, and not that I think I would be good at it, but um, from being a fake-ass bitch in high school, I think I know one, two things, you know what I mean? Not to say that I was a fake bitch, not, that I, not to say that I'm a fake bitch, um, to be honest, especially now, like, if, you, if we have a problem, <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Like we're yeah, like square up. Like it's it's, it's it's ew, that was so ugly. <laughs> it's happening. No, it's happening. Like if we have a problem, it's happening, right? Um, but yeah, like being like a fake, like I just I don't know, like I realized like I think I can put on a character. Like I think I'd be I think I'd be pretty good at it. Like Kendrick Tran is scared of acting, but but my act, my character, whatever it be, is is living for it, you know? Plus, there's a lot of, like, sorry. Oh. No, I think you would be good at it. Really? Okay, let's do, a, let's do an improv. Um, <laughs> no. That would be tragic. Yeah. <laughs> tragic. I know, literally. Oh my god. Anyways, actually, hmm, maybe I'm like we should go to an audition together. Ooh. Ooh. Um, it's so funny how you think it's like, oh, but it's really like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Like literally auditions have me like Oh really? It's Oops, my bad. For, <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously. Wow. Damn. Oh, anyways, um, so I wanted to want, so I wanted to ask, of course, like a low key, right, right before we start to wrap things up, I kind of want to know like what your goal is. Like, do you like? Okay, like okay, this is a big major question. Do you actually crave fame, or you just in general you want to be like a famous, like a successful actor, and in, in which fame obviously comes with. Like, you know what I mean? Right. Right. But if, but if um, it, even if that isn't the goal, like, even if you just want to be, like, a low-key actor, like, what is the goal? Is this end game? Like, kind of stuff like that. Yeah. Um. No, I, like, I don't really crave fame because, honestly, it's scary. Like, you just see how paparazzi and, like, these blogs and stuff they just want to know everything about you and that's so like scary to me oh it's scary like no I, I like I really just love acting in itself so that's really just really what I want to do and what I love so yeah I would definitely be like a I guess low-key actress yeah oh that would be me but do like low-key actors like I, well, I don't know like okay so who are you like who's your like Okay, so your goal isn't to be famous or whatever, but like for you, like what is like, like success? Like who are your icons that you're trying to be like? If you have like people that you like role models, because I know some people don't. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I would say mine would be uh, Viola Davis. I live for her. I love her so much. Oh, yeah. um, and she's a Leo too, period. Shout out to all my Leos. You already know what it is. Um, I know you're not really into astrology, but like... Um, I kind of am, the F, a little Leo. bit. Um, since when? Don't know, <laughs> sorry for the people listening in earphones, but like, <laughs> since when? Um, I'm not like into <laughs> it, but like, I know my signs and like, I read my horoscope when, like from time to time, like, you know, like... Wait, so you know, like, you're okay, we're going off topic, but like, you know, your moon <laughs> signs and stuff like that? Yeah. I definitely, okay, I, to be fair, I definitely didn't like a few, a couple years ago. But, yeah, when we met. Uh, yeah, when we met. I, I was didn't. like, oh my gosh, what's your sign? And you're like, I don't, like, I don't care about that stuff. Yeah, no. Yeah, like, I don't like care about it, but like, I know it. You know, like I believe it though. Oh, well, okay, wait, that's stress. Yeah, like I don't, I don't believe it, but like, I, I'm aware, that's a thing. So, what's your moon sign? I'm a okay, so I'm a Libra, and then I'm a moon. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Sagittarius moon and a Leo rising. Shut up! Yeah, I'm a Leo rising. Yeah, Leo rising, Sagittarius. I've heard from what I know from the people. For you. Yeah, from what I know, the people that that are into it have all said that these are really good signs to have. From well, for that's what I've heard. You no, know, definitely, definitely. Oh. That's why you're so social and you're like cool to talk to. Because you have the Sagittarius moon. Sagittarians, I don't want to get started with them because I have a love hate. Like, my bestie is a Sag and my ex is a Sag. And some days I love him, some days I hate him, some days I love her, some days I hate her. Um, but I love them. Like, yeah. So you and think Leo, it's a period. I love being a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you think it's really that big of a deal? Like, like if like for example like I don't know if Leos and Libras are supposed to like work well, but like if someone is a sign that opposes it. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, they work well. Mhm. Oh. They say that Leo and Libras are good. Like the best or like good. No, like they're they're good together. They complement each other. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. Some tea about that then. But anyway, I'll tell you about that later. Um, but anyway. Um, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Um, no, where was it going with? But so yeah, so if someone's an opposing sign that like you don't get that you're not supposed to get along with, do you just like not even try? Like oh no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not like that anymore. Okay. I was like that, but I'm not anymore. I'm okay. Better. Okay. Cause I was like, cause I know some people that are like, I can't date someone because this is their sign or like, you know, like, would you agree with that? What did you say? Sorry. I know some people that say are like, I can't date someone because of their sign. Yeah. Like, how do you feel uh, about that? Well, I, Oh my gosh, she keeps making these. <laughs> okay, I hear you now. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god, I love how you always make like the hand sign. 
<laughs> We're literally dancing to each other. Okay. <laughs> I cannot. <sighs> okay, but you're asking me, like, is that basically a deal breaker? So it kind of is, but I cannot. Kinda I want to give everyone a chance. Kinda is. Okay, damn. So are you single right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So what are you looking for? Let us know. You know, give us give us a good call. What? Um, I'm looking for someone who's emotionally available. I can't deal with the he's upset and he just want to tell me what's up like I don't I don't have the patience anymore you need to be mm. able to communicate your feelings um mm. that's a big one for me um but in reality like I'm really not looking for anyone oh why oh my gosh she froze again oh my god Uh, this is a hot ass mess oh my god like I almost shouldn't post this episode because it's so <laughs> this internet situation like okay uh... hello literally I feel yeah. like it might be mine but I don't even know how possibly this anyways okay you know what we're gonna continue this dating conversation after the recording is done because I this I can't Okay. Okay. <laughs> you look disappointed, bitch. I'm like waiting to see your face move. I'm just like, wait, what's happening? Are you frozen or not? Like, I'm trying to figure it out. But I see you now. Okay. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to close out the episode. Okay. Hello? Oh, so quick. Okay. So quick, bitch. It's been like yeah. it's been like almost an hour, I think. Oh, I wasn't even watching the time to be honest. But... Eh, well, I don't know. I wasn't really either. I don't really watch the time. But like honestly, I just because it's so like laggy, like I don't wanna like force people to like watch or listen through this, like for, like the lagginess. So like yeah even I know it, what you mean even, yeah so even if it is mm -hmm. a little shorter maybe we'll have you back again when <laughs> later in the in the future when this is no longer a problem period okay mm -hmm. so for all of the listeners that know or the watchers that know at the end of every episode uh of a train off track the podcast you're listening to right now uh we play a game called we're not really strangers by my uh one of my favorite artists kareem um yeah and she makes she basically her the game is basically about how to get like create deeper connections with people and just a fun a kind of like cards against humanity but with emotions basically um and so there's three levels there's level one which is perception level two which is connection and level three which is reflection and i know venetia was really excited to play the game so i usually ask a guest to pick one one card from one section but do you want to do three yeah yeah i see you but i don't hear you oh shit hello hi hi you heard me okay i hear you. did you yeah. hear the level the whole spiel i went on about the game yeah. Okay. So, did you hear about the three levels? Um, the first part. Yeah, yeah. There's three levels: perception, connection, and reflection. 
and I know you were excited to play this game. So do you want to play all three or, or do you want to do one like I usually do? We can do all three if you want. It's up to you because you're the one that wants to thought that you were excited to try the game. So I was like, if you want to play three, we can, but we usually do one. So it's up to you. Okay, let's do one just to be safe. Okay. So what level do you want to play? Reflection, connection, or perception? Let's do connection. Connection? Okay, so that, for the people that don't know the game, that's level two. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to pick a card um, out of the pile. Hmm. Ooh, I think this is a good one. Sorry, it's very ominous when I'm picking the card, but like I try to pick like a juicy one or one that we haven't heard in a while. Um, okay. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, okay. Okay, we're gonna do two, okay? We're gonna do two from the same level. Just because I feel like, first of all, give you a little more gameplay. Uh, and then also because I feel like these questions are very good, specifically for us, or at least what I think you would enjoy, or you would like have an interesting time answering, okay? Okay. Again, if you get if you get uncomfortable, this is being broadcasted, so you don't have to say it. You can be like, I really don't feel comfortable. Let's not do this question and stuff like that. But don't be a bitch. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm joking. Okay. So the, so the way it's going to work is I'm going to ask you the question and then we're both going to answer. Can you hear me? Okay. Did you hear that? Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you sound like so like... Bleh. Okay. So the question is, have you changed your mind about anything recently? Can you ask it again? Okay, so the question is, have you changed your mind about anything recently? <clears throat> um, yeah, okay, I'd say this. Um, there was a guy in my life that I was like, I'm never, ever, ever getting back together with this guy. But we're still not getting back together. But um, I was just saying, like, I wanted to just cut him out altogether. And then I kept getting signs that it's like, no, Venetia, you're being a little bit too stern. Da, 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 da. Um, so, you know, I just kind of, I guess, changed my mind on that. I'm like, just having a nice relationship with him. Like, That's are, like, are you, I changed my mind. Like, like, are you friends or like acquaintances? At this point, I'd say acquaintances, yeah. And you're happy with that, or are you, or do you have like second doubts? No, I'm pretty ha happy to say, yeah. Okay, actually, my answer is actually like really similar as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's because it has to do with like relationships as well, but like friendships for me. Um, because I don't yeah. know if you know, I've never actually been in a relationship, like a romantic relationship, so. Tea. Um, but yeah, so in terms of like friendships and stuff, like this year, um, as you know, like I've like I've lost a couple friendships and I've been thinking about like whether or not like I'm a good person and like stuff like that. But then also <laughs> but then also um one specifically, there's a relationship, there's a friendship that I'm like not too sure about. It's kind of complicated because basically what happened is we agreed to exchange Christmas presents on Christmas and not that material possessions are like a big deal, but like we agreed to exchange presents and she did not follow through. Like she, like I, like she didn't cancel or anything. Like the day came when we were supposed to exchange and she literally just straight up said, I don't, I didn't buy you anything. Yeah. And I like, and I like put an effort and thought into my gift and then for her to just do that, I felt I was like, okay, like, what the like what the yeah fuck? that's yeah weird. and so that's the thing like that that got me really thinking about 
um our relationship and our friendship and i'm like like really like are you like are you joking like what is this and then i also thought i was like oh I can, but then she also said like oh maybe i'll get you i'll get you something later on like to make up for it like when the malls open up again and stuff like that but it's like but it's like that's not something i should have like you know i not something i should be like testing you on or like waiting for you know what i mean so it's exactly. like exactly yeah so it's so that's so, so i'm kind of what what i mean by that is like i've been what i've been changing my mind about is is how i see friendships like because i think i've been i am very strict as to who i have in my life and like what value they add to my life uh, hello <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like what value they add to my life. But then also it's like, I think I need to learn to like relax and be like, oh my you gosh, know what? right when like, you asked me, did you hear that? You like cut out. Oh my God. But I, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Speak. Yeah, I hear you now. Hello. Okay. <laughs> you said speak. <laughs> uh <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, Um. but yeah, so I've been like, because I've, I've, I've also been, but I also realized, like, I've been, I'm, I'm very, like, strict about, like, who I have in my life and what value they add to my life. So Which it's is like, good. Yeah, but it's also, like, I, I don't know, it's, like, I feel like that's kind of what makes me feel kind of lonely, because it's, like, I'm very, like, pick and choose, but it's also, it's, like, I don't know, um, but so it's, like, so I'm thinking about, like, yeah, I've just been changing my mind about how I see relationships and, like, how friendships should play a role in my life and like expectations to have on relationships like that so I can definitely key. relate yeah so I'm curious to, uh, yeah I'll ask you about it later but I'm curious to know your opinion on the situation on my situation as well but anyways moving on to the second question All so right. what is something you wouldn't want to change about yourself um wouldn't would you I guess you'd say more like personality right so, yeah yeah it can, well okay. it can be anything like it can be because you know I feel like yeah okay uh, I'd say I'd say um I wouldn't change my loyalty that I have to people or just in general like you're a very loyal person yeah i would say in general like i'm pretty loyal even though like it's sometimes to a fault i'd be loyal to the wrong people but definitely i would i would never change it i it's a trait that a lot of people don't know how to have but mm. yeah mm. I'm, i was thinking i was actually thinking about that recently too because i'm also a very loyal person as well but then on my resume, that tells a whole different story because I'm like, I, I guess in terms of career, like I literally follow the opportunity. So it's like, if something better comes up, I'm gone, you know, so. Uh, Hello? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, but in terms of mine, I would say, I would say probably something I've like I've learned to like be is very like confrontational but not in like a not in like a messy way but very like very like in the moment kind of like saying things with your chest like that's the best way to put it I think so mm -hmm. it's like yeah because sometimes like people are very like when I say things they're like whoa like why'd you say that like that was so like bold or like unnecessary or like very like unfiltered and not that I'm, and I, I never say anything that's not true. So it's like, I don't think it's like messy or unnecessary or un, like unfiltered, but like, yeah. So it's like, I say like my personal opinion, I say what I know is fact. Like I, but like, that's something like people get scared of, especially coming from like me. But I think that's something that like, it's extremely valuable. And I think people underestimate. I that just want to say that that's definitely a Sagittarius moon type thing, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? What? The... No, no, it's definitely a good thing. Like, like you said, it's a it's a good thing to have, but it does scare people. But it's definitely a good thing to have. Okay. Well, <laughs> that being said, 
thank you all for listening so much. Um, as always, um, sorry for the glitchiness of this episode, but if you made it to the end, you're a real one. You're a real one. Um, yeah, honestly, DM me on Instagram. I'll give you a cookie. <laughs> but you can find my Instagram at Kendrick Train. Uh, yeah, at Kendrick Train. Like literally, you can find out the Train on Track website at a trainontrack.com. You, um, I'm probably going to start using TikTok again. Honestly, don't know. Um, but honestly, I have a lot of content coming on those socials because I've been on a little bit of a cleanse re- for the past couple months. So should be back on it soon. So, and yeah, where can they find, oh, YouTube as well, obviously, but where can they find you, Venetia? So you can find me um, on Instagram at my name, Venetia McFarlane, V-I-N-E-C-I-A-H-N-C-F-A-R-L-A-N-E, Venetia McFarlane <laughs> at, um, on Instagram and the same name at YouTube. That's oh. you me. Okay. Well, again, thank you all for listening so much. Um, again, if you made it this far, like respect. And if you know what ha- what was wrong with it, if you, if you know what was wrong with it, also let me know. <laughs> I need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for listening, and we'll catch y'all next week. Bye.